Welcome back again to mining.com.au. Joining me once more is Alistair Caird, the Head of Critical Minerals for Loxley Resources. Alistair, thanks for coming back on. Thanks, Shay. Good morning. Now, Loxley Resources has been investigating uh, new processing ways for antimony, uh, but I can't help but notice that there has been a couple of places where antimony is being considered being used in energy storage. Now, let's be honest, when it comes to energy storage metals, we think of metals like lithium, not antimony. Tell me, why would antimony be considered as a potential candidate for use in energy storage? Yeah, it's a good question. So we really are focused on improving uh, the technology around battery chemistries. So as you said, um, resources such as lithium, nickel, cobalt uh, are all typical, typically used in conventional um, lithium ion um, battery chemistries. And a lot of these, again, like most of these minerals are sourced overseas. Um, particularly in China. So by utilising uh, a resource that's available in country in the US uh, really is moving away from the reliance on those supply chains that are offshore. Um, and then in looking at Intimini in general, really that the goal here is to try and improve the technology uh, and some of the drawbacks of um, conventional uh, lithium ion or sodium ion battery chemistry. So that's really what we're trying to achieve uh, with this thrust to or, or, or the second work stream uh, in our RICE collaboration and partnership. So how does all of this fit in with current US government policies, Alistair? Yeah, so both of the, the work streams or thrusts with Rice University are really focused on uh, the US government policies in onshoring these critical minerals uh, and doing it in uh, as short a time as possible. So we're really hitting on the supply chains uh, with the antimony processing uh, capability. There is no capability in country at the moment. Um, so the need to find um, in-ground resource uh, and then also be able to process it in country is is really closely aligned with these uh, US uh, government uh, policies and priorities at the moment. And the same can be said with uh, with thrust two in the energy storage applications, because what we're really looking to do there is improve on uh, the currently available uh, and conventional lithium ion chemistries and other battery chemistries. And we're just trying to improve those. So with the, the first thrust, you're looking at producing technology that's utilized uh, by the Department of Defense um, and in line, and in turn, you can have uh, access to uh, government funding um, from that department. And then with the second uh, thrust or work stream with Rice University, we're really looking at technologies that could be utilised by uh, the Department of Energy. Uh, and so in line with that, we'll be looking at funding uh, funding policies uh, from that department. Um, so, so both of those thrusts are complementary to one another. The first is uh, involved with recovering the resource uh, in antimony and the second is utilising that resource. It's, a, it's further downstream but both of them are closely aligned with uh, current, current US policies. Uh, this certainly is an innovative approach to a critical metal. Uh, I appreciate your time today Alistair and I look forward to future updates. Thanks Shay, I appreciate it. 